Hello, Bulls fans. We are back in today. We're going to be talking about the topic of Io DeSumo being resigned to a three-year, $21 million deal. I honestly thought the offer would be a little bit less than $7 million a year. In my opinion, I thought it was going to be less. But $7 million a year is not a big chunk of the money that we have. And I don't think it's a bad offer at all. And I think that it was a good offer. But I just thought the deal was going to be a little lower of an amount. But I'm glad that we resigned him. And I also want to give... I just want to rep the shirt. So y'all show y'all the shirt. Yeah. All right. But let's talk about this and get into the topic. I had an amazing first year coming in and filling in the starting point guard spot after Zoe got hurt. And we know, you know, we didn't know his timeline or how long it was going to be until he came back. And he played very, very well his first year. But once he hit that uh, second year in the NBA, he hit that sophomore slump and he kind of brought his value and his play they all went kind of downhill and nothing really really went his way last year i also want to say that his contract the three-year 21 million dollar deal is a very movable contract very movable contract of io does not show improvement and we can look to move him at the trade line trade deadline if he does not show improvement throughout the next three years we can it's a very easy and movable contract that we can definitely get ass, assets back from but let's talk a little bit about what he averaged from year one to year two. Year one, he had eight, about nine points per game, about three rebounds per game, three and a half assists per game, shot 37.6% from three, which is a pretty good clip from the three-point range. Year two, eight points per game, about three rebounds per game, two and a half assists per game, 31.2% from uh, the th three-point range. So as you can tell, the numbers went down everything kind of went down and he didn't shoot the ball very well at all and we really need to see him improve that jump shot and get that jump shot back up and i think that he can do that but he's gonna have to really prove to the front office what he can do and he's really gonna have to carve minutes for himself because he got the starting point guard spot because of zoe's injury and we didn't really have guards back then or like backup guards or anything, or a guard that could fill in that starting point guard spot. But now the Bulls are guard heavy, and I will have to work for those NBA minutes on the NBA court. Because, you know, we have Javon Carter, Kobe, Kobe White, Alex Caruso, you know, Julian Phillips, Dale and Terry. I know they're not guards, but they will be, they're players that can definitely fill in that role. There's also, we got Torrey Craig, you know, we got, we kind of got the roster filled up right now. And, He's definitely going to have to carve those minutes for himself and work towards those minutes for himself so he can play and get NBA minutes and really showcase what he can do. He's going to have to put a lot of offseason work in and really show us what he can do. But that is going to be all for this one, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this deal being done and what your thoughts about the money and how much he should have gotten paid or if you think it's a good deal. But hit that sub button for more Bulls content. And you already know. See you, see you right, Bulls Nation.